Madam Chair, distinguished members of the council, my name is Dr. Joe Marshall, and I speak as a private citizen, and I look forward to seeing each of your eyes as I speak so that I know that I'm being heard. Thank you. Jobs! Oh, jobs! We're going to hurt the economy. It's all going to get destroyed. And the truth is, there doesn't have to be a single job lost. Not one of you needs to lose your jobs. All the industry needs to do is to grow conventional corn or organic corn. And while they're doing that, the various tests and things that people would like to see and check can be done while that's happening. No, no job loss, and in fact, maybe even increased jobs. So this economic concern and this worry is truly not an issue. Simply change what you grow. Can you speak to the chair and not to the audience? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Biden. Yeah, I appreciate that. Now, 20,000 people, the Shaka movement, 20,000 of your fellow citizens, not just a number, a statistic, not just your constituents, but 20,000 people that you share this island with, that you walk amongst, would like to know, would like to know whether or not what is happening is safe. They, we hear all of these studies, we hear all of this information, but where are the tests here? Where are the soil samples? One foot, two feet, three feet. Where are the water samples, the reef samples, the sand samples, the dust samples in the homes? Where are the blood samples of the employees and or the communities? Where are they? That's what the people would like to know. What's happening right here? Not what has happened in a laboratory or elsewhere. What's happening right here? It's a real simple question. Now, hmm, the biggest concern that I understand for the council as well as the mayor's office is being sued. That if you put this moratorium forth, you're going to be sued. Now, quite frankly, I believe that each of you, as your job description, are mandated and sworn to uphold the Hawaiian Constitution which is very clear on this matter. Very clear that the public trust resources are to be conserved and protected for current and future generations. So it is a function of your office that if the citizens, nearly half of the people who voted last election, would like to know if this is safe, and it is a function of your office to represent those individuals. It's not even a, a choice. It is a function of your position within the constitutional mandates. May I have one more minute, please? If you can conclude. Sure. So if each one of you sitting in this room now, council members and Madam Chair, if you are absolutely certain that there is no problem whatsoever, that everything that is happening is contained within those fields, if you are absolutely certain that there's no possibility of vapors drifting or dust drifting or the waters being hurt, well then by all means, vote it down. But if you have a shadow of a doubt that maybe, hey, you know, it rains a lot, and I see the dirt running down the road, I see the, the dirt in the ocean when it rains like that, I see dust throughout the homes, you experience it, and, and maybe the water table is being contaminated, like what happened with pineapple, and now all of a sudden we have to sue them and get 30 years of water filtration. No one knew, but it happened. So if you have any doubt whatsoever, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Because I don't believe there's any one of you in here right now who can look me in the eye. Mr. Marshall, let me to conclude. Thank you. Look me in the eye and say that you absolutely guarantee that what is happening is Pono. Thank you for your time. Thank you.